simple when you think about it. Do you need to detach or do you need to claw your way in? But lightly, just, you know, depends on the person. Respect boundaries, of course, but I don't think people understand the, the push, pushing boundaries to the slightest. I'm somebody who likes my boundaries pushed just a little, but once I make a clear, I don't want this, it's done. But I'm gonna let you push me a little bit emotional. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you because we're testing the waters here. It's okay. You can be a little close. You can be, a little, you know what I mean? But, but it's knowing the difference when some, when you are okay. Cause look, it's completely like, this is, you know, like, I don't want to compare it. Like, but do you know how siblings will push each other's buttons, but they know when the limit is like, you know, like me and my sister, I'll push her with my shoulder and it will be like banter. Knowing the difference between banter and you're pissing somebody off. How, how much, how much can you get on your nerve? And not everybody likes that. Some people are pissed off by that, but you have to learn your person. So whoever you're interested in, you learn them. I don't know. A look with a thousand words of expression. Yes. Silence. And the feeling. So. So this is the lighter, like, and it comes from a feeling. You can't do it unless you feel it. And it's vulnerable. This feeling is vulnerable. This feeling is attractive to some, not everybody. But it's more so this like subtle, calm, you're speaking with how you feel or you're expressing with how you feel or serious. Super. I feel like this is your self talk allied. It is basically. Yeah. Kind of. Um, but you know, it's a soft and the feminine and like just simple things like touching like your face. Or your neck and conversation and um, the little tilt and the um, if you're in like a couch maybe the you're massaging your neck you're having a little vulnerable moment with somebody and you're not really paying attention but you know that you're being watched by them and you you kind of clue that you enjoy them staring at you. So that's, that's something. And then, oh, do I want to do the other one? So, um, this one I feel like I have one for when I was with somebody where I was chasing, or not chasing, but they were submitting to me emotionally. It was like I was a lion and they were a bunny. Not necessarily a bunny, because I Bunnies wouldn't submit to, what animal would submit to a lion? I guess another lion, depending on how well it fears the, the female. It doesn't matter. But anyways, there's 
a look in your eye that, and you have to see if they are giving submission. And this isn't just sexual. This isn't like I, this right here is based on dynamics and emotional curiosities and things like that. This is how you spark somebody's interest. Depending on the person, this doesn't work for everybody. If you have it, if you can feel it, you can do it. If you can't feel it, you can't do it. So to feel that feeling and you look at them like, you know that if you allowed it, they would give you everything. And because you know that you have that power, you have responsibility over it and you don't take advantage of them. But the dynamic comes in where they know that you could take advantage and they would allow it because they're submitting to you. You're being, you're being, um, you're being, what's the word? Dominant? No, you're being, um, Anyways, doesn't matter. The whole thing is the power dynamics between I and I and emotional and emotional. It depends on the person. It depends on the relationship. This doesn't work for everybody. If you feel it, you feel it. If you don't, you can't do it. It has to be something that you emotionally connect with. If you don't understand, then this shit's not meant for you. Fuck off. Apologies. Didn't mean to say it like that, but at the end of the day, I know some of you are judging me and bullying me in your head or in some form. So I say fuck off kindly. Because if you, because if you knew that's something that you did come from, what are you talking about, bro? Mm. I really did mean to say it like that. Just the bullies, not the people that like don't understand. If you just don't genuinely don't understand and you don't get it, like, you know, that wasn't meant for you, I think. You're, you're allowed to not feel that way or want to have those sort of feelings towards anybody. But the people who just are looking at me and funny, they can fuck off kindly or fuck off rudely. I don't care. Um, and being in long-term relationships. What are you talking about, girl? Gosh, have I really been here for three hours? Love. Okay, my nail is, mm. I glue it back on, oh, it's right here. I don't really wanna go too close because I'm talking about in a relationship, you have to make prom compromises with your partner, everyone does. And being in a long-term relation, anyone would know this is true. Yes, but what, like, what, what point are you getting at? Because if you knew that something like that that something that you did compromise happiness, then that would be detriment. Because if you knew that's something that you did, yeah, so you're not taking advantage, no, the, oh, you're talking about the power dynamic, right? You're not taking advantage of them, but you understand the power dynamic that if you wanted anything, they would give it to you. They would try their hardest to give it to you. You understand that, you don't take advantage of it, but you make it kind of known and you kind of